Welcome to Inside Science TV. What do beer, dogs, yogurt, and soy sauce have in common? All of them are the end products of human domestication. Everybody is, is familiar with the fact that several different plants and animals have uh, been domesticated by humans, but most people, I think, would be surprised to know that a variety of different microbes have also been domesticated by humans. Take the microbes in brewer's yeast, for example. They've undergone significant genetic changes over thousands of years. They can now safely and efficiently convert the sugars in malted barley into alcohol, with different domesticated strains producing the wide variety of beers, lagers, and ales we know today. Our group focuses on studying a particular group of very important microbes, the fungi. The study charted the genetic differences between the domesticated fungus Aspergillus oryzae, which is used to make rice wine, sake, and soy sauce, and its wild relative Aspergillus flavus, an agricultural pest that produces a toxic carcinogen known as aflatoxin. The study found that Aspergillus oryzae was domesticated from an Aspergillus flavus ancestor, a process early sake brewers stumbled upon in the Far East, which over time remodeled the structure and function of its genome. While we're very familiar with uh, microbes as agents of disease and infection, there is a whole different contribution that they make to human society that's very positive. I'm Josh Lebowitz reporting. Inside Science TV. If you enjoyed this edition, follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. Powered by the American Institute of Physics and a coalition of underwriters.